What's up guys, this is Gallon with MLHead.com and today guys we're doing a first impressions gameplay for the new World of Warcraft expansion Mist of Pandaria. Now guys, this expansion I have been really really looking forward to just because I myself am an avid WoW player, uh, I love the game. Um, the last expansion Cataclysm, I, I, was, I really wasn't liking that one too much. Um, but MOP so far guys, I'm really loving it. And today I'm going to show you guys the first couple starting quests and just talk about a little bit about the um, the different changes that they have done so far. So let's go here and pick up um, some of these some of these first couple quests that you get when you come to the new land of Spandaria. And let's check it out. So right now guys, we are in the name of the zone is called the Jade Forest. So let's get started. So the first quest, we got to kill six garage grunts and we got to kill we gotta, yeah, gotta slay Garrosh Gear Greasers. So let's get to it. So right now, guys, I'm playing an Elemental, or sorry, I'm playing an Enhancement Shaman. Uh, elemental is my off spec. Now, this um, character I really love. I love my Shaman a lot. And you guys that play Shamans will understand why I love it. They're just a lot of fun. Now, uh, some of the changes I want to talk about guys uh, a few ones that are very significant that a lot of people are talking about a lot of people are liking uh, the first one is uh, You have account wide pets achievements and mounts now This is really really cool now the reason for this is uh, a lot of people always have to grind for mounts on Different characters, but now you don't have to do that all your mounts are shared throughout throughout all your characters except for a couple mounts. There's a couple exceptions like uh, PvP gladiator mounts, those ones I know are not shared, and there's a couple other ones. So there's a couple exceptions to that. But that off the bat is really cool. And another thing, just the new content. There's so many new heroic dungeons. Uh, they just uh, released one of the raids Tuesday, which was uh, Mogushan Volts. I have not yet tried it yet at all, just because uh, I'm still gearing up my level 90 warrior for tanking that. But there's so much new content. That is, is th this expansion is just, it's, it's like a, a fresh air coming to you. Because back in Cataclysm, for those that did play WoW, for those who didn't play WoW, uh, say the game you play, for example, uh, any type of MMO, that does not release new content, the game gets boring because there's nothing new to do. And that, that's what happened in Cataclysm. They had like a good six months period where they didn't release any new type of content whatsoever. So a lot of the WoW players are really, really bored. So MOP is, everybody's loving it right now. It's just new, it's fresh, people are loving it. Now, uh, some of the other new stuff besides, you know, heroic dungeons, new heroic dungeons, uh, the new raids, all that kind of stuff is pet battles. That's a new system they introduced. And a lot of people are calling it uh, Pokemon battles because uh, it, it's kind of like that, except you don't really throw your pet and it pops out of a Pokeball. Uh, you know, that would be kind of cool because, I mean, who doesn't love Pokemon? Come on now, who doesn't love Pokemon? Pokemon's just, Pokemon's amazing. But, besides that, um, it's really similar to that. Your pet has different abilities, you can level up your pet. So, it, it, in a sense, it is really similar to Pokemon, which is really cool. I definitely love that, it was definitely a plus to me. But yeah, that is some of, the, also, the new changes, and a lot of people are loving that as well. Now, let's hurry up and let's finish some of these quests now. It seems like I'm really close to dying because I'm talking and I'm trying to commentate at the same time. And that is quite hard to do. <laughs> I actually thought it would be quite easier, but it's actually quite hard to do. Live commentary while playing. So, these first couple quests are pretty much like any standard MMO quest, standard WoW quest. You know, go out, collect some other things, come back, collect some many things, that kind of stuff. But throughout the expansion, so far that I've uh, encountered, there's a lot of unique quests. Um, where you have to like get in vehicles. There's a quest where you have to actually um, You're doing different story modes through um, these characters you play as them. It's, it's really cool Like I remember one of the quests in um, Kunlai Summit. I have to um, play as this human sniper So I'm sniping like from like really far away and it was really weird because it's wow and you know sniping It sounds weird, right? But um, yeah, it, it's there's a lot of different weird quests and I like how wow is trying to integrate um all that that newness that freshness you know the uh, they're trying to switch it up instead of having go out collect some other things come back gather x amount of things which you do pretty much from levels one through like 70 or one through 80 and then that's when they kind of switch it up have escort quests here or there but majority of the quests are like that so when they actually um uh, switch it up and have quests like this um it's just 
really 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 cool to see that they're actually doing this and a lot of people have been putting in the forums uh, for them to change and actually make uh, different quests like this to make it a lot more fun and interactive to quest and uh, so I'm glad that WoW is actually listening to the community because um, developers who don't listen to the community guys uh, is is uh, um, not going to be doing so well I should say uh, so that's why I'm glad Blizzard is actually doing that making changes to them so now, where are these these gear greasers? Oh, I killed four of those. So we gotta do war wagons destroyed. Open your map. All right, there. And that's another thing Blizzard also implemented. This was a while ago. This is this is not something like freshly updated into uh, uh, Miss Pandaria. It's like an in-game quest helper. So you open your map. It tells you exactly where you need to go, which is always good because all the all the new players are always gonna have a hard time um, learning the game. Like I myself, when I first started playing MMOs, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. That was back, you know, a good four or five years ago. But now, of course, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm used to the style of gameplay and all that kind of stuff. Now, another thing that is really what I like now is in the very beginning when this uh, mob came out, which is last uh, Tuesday, there was so many people online. Like right now, there's, you know, you see a couple people, one sham in here, you know, a couple people over there. This whole place really filled with hundreds of people. Hundreds. It was insane. Um, that was like crazy, guys. Like, I, I don't understand. Um, well, I, know, I do understand why there's so many people lying because they want to get to the level 91st, but um, Blizzard said at least had some kind of expanded server or something. It was insane. Like, really, guys. It really was. Now. Uh, some other changes to the game was the way they set up talents and the way they set up glyphs. That has also changed in this expansion. Now, I personally, um, I, I don't want to say that I don't like it. It's because I'm still getting used to it. And I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like it is because it's new and I'm not used to it. I was so used to playing the old style, the old talents, that I got really used to it. And I, I just liked that a lot more. But I haven't played, um, or I haven't really got used to this new style of talents. So that's why I, I, I don't want to say that I don't like it. It's just because I'm not really used to it now. And the old talents, they used to have talents trees for three different specs. Usually, you know, um, depending on the class, you have three. Well, okay, every class has three different specs. I'm trying to confuse myself here. But uh, certain classes like Paladins, Warriors will have, you know, tank spec, uh, DPS spec. Other classes have tank spec, healing spec, and um, DPS spec. But the way they did that, they, they, the reason they did this was to make it easier for newcomers. So if you look at the talents, now there's no really trees anymore. And I actually like the tree system a lot better than what they have now. But um, they changed up, they said to make it more friendly to user or user friendly. I don't really agree with it. It's, it's kind of, it's actually, I, I find it more confusing actually than anything. But this is what it looks like now. And before you used to get you used to get a talent point every uh, two levels. Now you it's like the bracket. Of, you get a uh, talent point 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90. So they changed that up a little bit. Now the glyphs they used to be able to have um, up to nine glyphs. Now it's only six glyphs. So they made a couple changes to that. And those changes I don't really agree with too much, guys. Um, I'm not really liking it too much. Uh, of course, it's all based on your personal preference, guys. A, a lot of people do like it. Some people don't. I'm just one of the people that um, don't like it right now. I'm still getting used to it. But I'm pretty sure once I'm used to it, I'll, I'll be enjoying it a lot more than I am right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's get back to this quest thing. So Horde Wagon is these big things I gotta destroy. And there's like there's so many ads that it, it's like distracting me. I'm, I'm trying to kill these ads as fast as possible to get to questing. These little uh, little goblins keep popping up out of nowhere. I'm trying to take these goblins out. The goblins coming out of nowhere. Oh, it's worse than anger goblins. See, look at that. Where, where'd he come from? Alright, so I'm just going to run and flee from him. We only got to kill one more war wagon, guys. We're getting close to finishing the quest. We're getting close. Um, but there's no war wagons in sight, except there's one right there. I'm going to just take this one out. War wagon destroyed. Alright, so it looks like we are able to turn this quest in now. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Turn this bad boy in. Alright, our next quest. Use silly flare gun to clear out the barricades confront Garul. God, Gatrul. Gatrul. Gatrul at the end of the dock. 
all right so th th this is what i mean by interactive like look at this I, I get to blow up these barricades i mean of course uh i mean other people are like oh that sucks but compared to the other question wow this is a lot more enjoyable i mean it's really cool animations it's definitely different it's fresh um and it looks cool i'm mean, looking at that. those things just, just got blown up by me i mean it's definitely more enjoyable guys compared to you know back in um cataclysm where all the quests were literally the same except for a couple escort quests here and there all right so it looks like all i had to do was confront him and then i turned the quest so that was quick and a chest piece that i cannot use so i'm not going to use it and it looks like we have a little cutscene here well, that's another thing they implemented. They implemented a lot of new cutscenes, so you, you could really understand a lot more of the World of Warcraft lore. And that's something I think is really cool because I always, uh, in games, I think the lore enriches your gameplay, and uh, it makes the game a lot more enjoyable. So I, I really like how they're trying to do this and make the lore uh, a lot better in the game. And actually, that mount that you're seeing me fly around, that little disc mount is actually an achievement mount that you get from being a lore master or being exalted with the lore master which is really cool so here's the first encounter of a panda that we see and it looks like we have this look, look at this human guy he's like hold up what you doing here he has a gun ready to shoot him wonderful smooth I'm taking her head off but it looks like everything's good they settle negotiations and the night elf is gonna be saved let's pick up these next couple quests so I think now is the point where we can actually go to the first panda village guys and that is the new race that is implemented in this game you get to play the pandas now a lot of people were skeptical because they're like oh pandas ha 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 kung fu panda ha you know it's like kung fu pandas this is gonna be so lame I hate this expansion but um, now that a lot of people are playing it, those people actually have changed their mind. And you can definitely tell just from reading the forum post uh, how much more people are enjoying the game. Or enjoying this expansion, I should say. Uh, a lot of people who were saying that before were like, oh, this is gay. But then once they get in the game, they're experiencing new content. And they're like, oh, you know what? This is actually kind of cool. And then they're actually enjoying it a lot more. And another thing they implemented is a new class, uh, which is called the Monk. Now the monk can either DPS, tank, or heal. I myself played the monk in the beta and, and loved it. Uh, I played the healing spec at max level 90. And it was really, really fun. So I really enjoyed that, uh, that class a lot. And so that's another thing they implemented. That's the only class in race they implemented. There's nothing new. Now the, the cool thing about uh, the pandas though, they are the only race in the game now that can either choose to be horde or alliance. And I believe you quest up to level 10, and then as soon as you're level 10, you can pick either if you want to join the Alliance or the Horde. And they are the only race that are able to do this now. So I thought that was really cool. Because at first, I, a lot of people were skeptical saying, are Pandas going to be the good guys or the bad guys? And of course, um, through the years of uh, World of Warcraft, people have considered Alliance to be good guys and Horde to be bad guys. Depending on how you look in it and who you play as well. But uh, that's what a lot of people were saying. Now... I myself uh, would pick Alliance. That, that's the that's the uh, faction I play. But um, yeah, I, I really think that it is really cool how you can pick between Horde and Alliance. That's really cool. Cause if they didn't allow that, it would have been really it would it would have been one sided. Cause if the Pandas can only play Mounts, or if the Pandas can only be Alliance, then that would have caused a lot of controversy so um, I, I think that that's kind of the only uh, solution they had to that in fact so uh, I'm glad they did that all right so we got to kill three more of these little Shah hunts and the whole uh, the, a big massive point of this expansion is how uh, people on this island of Pandaria are getting uh, controlled by this madness and the madness is the Shah and um, there's actually a world boss you could kill called Shah of Anger, which is like, you have to group up, you have to get like a 40 man raid, it's like, uh, it's a world raid, so it's like, uh, it spawns like every 4 hours, there's two different world raid bosses, which is really cool, uh, that's back from like vanilla, they haven't had that since vanilla, so I'm glad they're uh, bringing back some vanilla type of content, which is really cool. And I pulled aggro on accident, so I'm just gonna take care of this bad boy real quick. Alright, so we gotta kill 5 Shah Hardbringers. And I think they spawn here. This little crack in the ground just looks more significant. So I think they spawn here. 
Come on, spawn. You know you want to spawn. And it's not going to spawn. Give me a second now. And it's not going to spawn. So we're going to come back to that later. Instead, we are going to go to the first panda village, which is a little bit up the coast here, called Pao Don Village. This is like the first village where you can actually see pandas running around. So let's get over there. Whoa! Never mind. Here's a Shaw Warbringer right here. We can, never mind. I guess we can finish the quest real quick. Might as well, right? Alright, and another thing that you're gonna notice in uh, the expansion is that all the damage or all the numbers that you used to see. So, like, for example, uh, back in Cataclysm, my hunter would crit for about 35k uh, for uh, certain abilities. Now it crits for like up to 70k. So the, the, the damage has scaled up since you're like a higher level. And that is really cool just because who doesn't like seeing huge numbers damaging on your screen. Those big flashing numbers saying oh you just hit like a 200k crit. Even though that's a lot. I've actually hit that on my uh, warrior. My execute crits are about 215. Which is pretty insane amount of damage. For those who play WoW, you guys know that's insane amount of damage for one ability. It's pretty insane, guys. So that, that's, that's another thing that's pretty cool. And I'm going to Ghost Wolf form a mountain run away. There's too many of these guys. Way too many. It, it, it's, it's not there's too many. These little Shaw of the Hunts are just annoying. They're shooting this little Ghost Breast thing that's doing a lot of damage to me. Too much damage, way too much damage. Alright, so looks like we have two more. I'm gonna kill her quick. See, I have like three of these guys on me. They just won't get away. They're so annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna kill them. I'm just, I'm just gonna take them out. I was trying to be nice and civil, Shaw the Hunts. Or Shaw Hunts. I was trying to be really nice and civil to you. And there's like five now. Where are these guys coming from? My god. Alright, you know what? There's two more. I just want to kill these. I'm going to kill the last two and I'm going to run. And just find two more, run around, find two more guys, and I'm peacing out. I'm about to go to the Powdon village as soon as I kill two more. Alright, uh, is there a way to pull this just one of them? Or do I pull all of them? Okay, yeah, I'm going to pull one. Cool, cool. That's all I wanted to do. Now I'm running out of mana now, which is, I mean, great. Love running out of mana. Can't heal myself and I'm going to die. Just kidding. <laughs> Definitely don't want to die. Dying is bad. No one loves dying. Alright, so that's another Shawbringer slain. And there's one more up here. Just gotta kill one more, guys, and then I'm good to run away. Just one more, one more, one more. Will I die? Will I die? Pop the hills, pop the hills. Alright, it looks like I'm good to go, guys. Looks like I'm good to go. I'm not dying today. I'm not dying today. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I might die. Nope, not today. Alright. Another update, guys, that I want to talk about now. That I've actually killed these Harbringers. I can actually go to turn in my quest. Another update, um, back in Cataclysm, to get uh, level 90 gear for, like, dungeons and stuff like that. You just went to the vendor, spent justice points, valor points to get them. What they did now, and they changed in Miss Pandaria, is you have to now uh, gain rep or reputation... Uh, with a certain faction in order to use adjustment points to buy certain gear. Now that means you actually have to do quests for that certain faction depending on what gear they have to e in order to get that gear. So there's no like actual vendor where you can just go straight up and buy that gear. Which makes it uh, the process a, a little longer to get gear. But I actually like it because um, each of these factions uh, usually have a mount that you can buy that looks really cool. So either way it's going to benefit you in the end run. But um, that's something that they did because a lot of characters, or a lot of, not characters, a lot of people said they are bored when they hit max level. Then, you know, there's not enough stuff to do. So this is something they added to make it so you have a lot more on your plate to do. And right now, there's so much to do in MOP. It's insane, guys. There's so much new content, so much stuff. It's, it's really just incredible. All right, let's, let's uh, sell some stuff here. Get some bag space. Sell this stuff here. There we go. <laughs> A little more backspace for the question. Alrighty. Alright, guys. So, that's pretty much just been the first look at Miss Pandaria. You guys got to see me do a couple quests. Got to talk about a lot of the different changes. Um, if you have any 
uh, questions, put in the comments below. I'll try to get back to you. As well as, guys, check out the full uh, review in the description box below. And also check out MMOHot.com. Alright, guys, this has been Geller, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time.